Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Nashville bombing suspect killed in explosion, FBI says. FBI investigators said DNA evidence was found at the scene. Federal investigators said the suspect in the Christmas Day RV bombing in Nashville was killed in the explosion. FBI investigators said DNA evidence was found at the scene matched Anthony Quinn Warner, who was earlier named a person of interest. Anthony Warner is the man believed to be responsible for this horrible crime, Metropolitan Nashville Police Chief said at a news conference. Human remains were discovered and the blast debris, and investigators worked to determine if they were the RV's owner. Multiple law enforcement sources briefed on the investigation told ABC News the suspect, identified as Warner from Tennessee, a suburb of Nashville. Douglas, the special agent in charge of the FBI's Minneapolis, Minneapolis field office, told reporters that investigators were able to make the match quickly after they obtained DNA from Warner's home. Federal agents arrived Saturday at the property in at Warner's home connected in Warner to order a conduct court authorized search. Sources told ABC News a Google Map Street View image of Warner's address shows an RV which appears similar to the one used in the blast in a fenced in section of the yard. One agent said there appears to be no other suspects involved with the bombing, but investigators in the investigation is ongoing. Authorities believe the RV was parked in front of an AT&T transmission building at 1.22 a.m. on Friday, but it remains unclear if the building was targeted. The Tennessee Highway Patrol confirmed the RV's VIN was registered to Warner. The FBI specialist said his team does not know what Warner's alleged motives were, but are aware of certain things online and were looking at every possible motive. He urged anyone who knew Warner or has any information to his the FBI tip line. These pieces of information will help us determine the suspect's motive, he said. More than 250 FBI personnel from at least seven field offices are in Nashville working on the investigation, including special agents, analysts, and professional staff who are conducting interviews, collecting evidence, and conducting with partner agencies, including the bearer of alcohol, tobacco, firearms, and explosives, and state and local investigators. The high-stake drama began to unfold about 6 a.m. on Friday when the officers working the late-night shift received a call of shots fired inside a building located at 178 2nd Avenue North, officials said. The Nashville police officers began being hailed as heroes for saving lives during a massive Christmas morning bombing described on Sunday their quick actions to evacuate the buildings as they reduced against the eerie recording continuing down to detonation and the Potlu Clark song downtown coming from the vehicle parked with explosives. Metropolitan Nashville police officers 
are hailed as heroes. And take a look at the police officers here. Here's a photo of some of them here in this image. One officer said he was the first to arrive at the scene and began to check the building up for gunfire and requested the security code to get inside. He said that moment off another officer arrived at the scene to back him up. A recorded voice from the RV parked on the street began writing an urgent warning. He said he radioed his supervisor, Sergeant Miller, who told him to ask everyone, every available officer to get to the scene and start to evacuate residents. As another off, two other officers began to block off streets in the area, two other officers entered an apartment building and commanded knocking on doors and alerting residents of a possible public safety risk outside. He said the residents from about six or seven apartments were then expected to evacuate out a rear basement door. Another officer said he and his colleagues went back to the area of the RV to move their patrol cars away from it and make sure no other civilians were in harm's way. He said the RV drapes were down, drawn, and three, and there were no registered tags on the RV. Another officer recalled that the recording voice coming from the RV then began a chilling countdown saying 14 minutes to destination. She said the warning was followed by a Pertel Clark song downtown. Another officer said that as the voice from the RV counted down to three minutes before destination, he spotted a man emerged from a nearby building with his dog. He said that just as he yelled at the man to go back inside, the RV exploded. He said he then ran to check on Miller, who was still inside his patrol car. He said the explosion caused the airbags of Miller's patrol car to go off and that the sergeant was cutting it away when he opened the door. Another officer recalled that just before the blast, she saw a woman with a stroller and four children on the street. She said, the sight put my heart in my throat. She said she was thrown forward and knocked to the ground by the explosion. She said she got no immediate response from the officer. Another officer said the blast caused him to temporarily lose hearing in his left ear and he didn't hear the other officers radioing him. Another officer said once he heard the music coming from the RV, he feared officers were being set up for an ambush and began scanning the top of the buildings in parking garage looking for an active shooter. He said that just before the blast he was walking toward the RV and I literally hear God tell me to turn around and go check on Topping who was by himself. He said the explosion caused him to stumble. He said he yelled at Topping to get her gun out in case they came under fire. Topping added then that when she grabbed Wallace, I've never heard someone so hard. She said hearing Wallace's voice in a chaotic moment is what got me to see my kids on Christmas. 
And that is it for this evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for watching this evening news report on the Riley King Network. Have a great rest of your evening. See you back here tomorrow with more news reports. Good night and goodbye, everyone.